God. <laughs> oh, my Lord Jesus Christ. Mm, my battery is now flashing. Oh, my camera's steeped up, for fuck's sake. Oh my god, my throat is absolutely killing. Oh, come on everyone. I actually filmed explaining just a lot of things. Um, so just roll that footage until I wake up a bit more. I feel like, in fact, I don't feel like, I know I've not been on this channel maybe seven months, literally maybe seven months. And I don't know why I'm starting it shirtless when it's dark outside. I feel like we need to add an actual intro onto the front of this, so I'm gonna add an intro onto the front of this. But it is literally, what time is it? It is currently 10.17 on the 4th of October, and I have just thought to myself, what the fuck am I doing with my life? I literally haven't uploaded on this channel since six months ago, literally six months ago. My life has changed so much in those six months. If you don't watch my main channel and you are only subscribed to this channel, you'll probably be thinking, did this boy just drop off the face of the earth? Like, if you literally only follow me on this channel. Also, I had my hair cut today. Do you know when, like, the barbers style it and they just don't do what you do? Like, I haven't washed my hair since being at the barbers. I just came straight back and got on with some work and stuff. So do excuse what my my hair's looking like it also is good like any boys watching this will know what I mean do you know when you have your hair freshly shaved it's like velcro so like when I put the hood up on my hood eh, little tiny black bits keep getting stuck to my hair so if I do have any like little black dots of fluff on my hair it is from the fact that I just got a haircut you know what I'm gonna put my hoodie back on and we're gonna have a full on chat we're gonna have a catch up oh bloody hell I have a black dot on my tongue what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know where to put you. I've not really vlogged too much in my new flat. Like, as in, like, actually just popping you down and having a little chin wag. Hi, everyone. It has been literally six months since I have posted on my vlog channel. Now, I've been vlogging a lot on my main channel. If you subscribe to my main channel, you'll have seen that I've been vlogging a lot more over there. And I am still going to be posting vlogs on there. However, I feel like there's a pressure when posting on my main channel to make the vlogs not entertaining, but I feel like they have to be edited a certain way and I feel like they have to be quite fast paced and I feel like whenever I film rambly segments I just end up cutting it all out but the thing that I love most about my vlog channel is that I feel or the thing that I love most about YouTube actually is watching people's vlogs where they literally just ramble I'm starting this because I literally just watched Molly May's weekly vlog and I'm like you know what I love this that I literally come away from these videos and Emma Chamberlain's recent videos actually have felt very just like a diary entry and I love content like that like Zoe and Alfie's vlogs I still to this day watch and I fucking love them and there's the the reason I had this channel was so I could do videos like that where I didn't feel like it had to be so like entertainment based and I could literally just fill my life for, as like a diary to look back on but also just to create and I just enjoy doing it when I'm vlogging I just feel productive and I feel like I get a lot of things done I feel like I make a point of doing things not just to vlogs but I make a point of being like you know what I'm not gonna sit on the sofa all day and it creatively allows me to just continue I feel like I get less in ruts creatively when I'm constantly vlogging and when I'm picking up my camera and I'm doing things that feel productive and I haven't done that in a while I've literally like I said been vlogging as much as I feel like I've been vlogging a lot I really haven't and I've been posting them all on my main channel and then I was just like someone literally commented on my vlog the other day hi sis where have you gone and I was like oh my god I've literally just left this channel for six months and not uploaded on it watching Molly May's vlog I was like why do I not just pick up my camera and vlog as if it's going on my vlog channel I don't, I don't feel any pressure to edit a certain way on here I obviously enjoy editing these videos but it feels more casual and more relaxed and I like putting like casual music and like cutesy little shots of me like doing things and time lapses and like capturing moments for what they are instead of trying to make them entertaining so I just thought hi everyone I'm back on my vlog channel I don't know how often I'm gonna be posted on here but there's also a lot of times where like I go around to Lewis's and hang out with his friends and like we do things a lot or like we go out and like oh I just turn the light on by accident by touching it or like we go out and do things that isn't necessarily like me and Lewis went on a date night last night we went out to a really cute sushi bar sushi bar sushi restaurant and then we went bowling and stuff and i would have loved to have vlogged it i actually bought this camera let me show you oh gosh i actually bought this camera which is like a little um camcorder just because i want to be able to capture moments that feel more organic and not like it's for my main channel video not that it makes a difference because like the memories and the everything else is still very organic the way that i try and film everything doesn't feel forced or set up or anything but i feel like that camera just made it feel less intimidating capturing like the actual moments i want my vlog channel back i want you guys back on my vlog channel 
I don't know why it looks like I've got a full fringe. Like, I don't know why my hair's looking like this. I had a shower last night, and for some reason, my hair's just dried really weirdly. But hi, everyone. I look like Meg Mind, but what's new? Good morning. It is the first morning I've actually woke up in my flat and been cold. Like, woke up and I'm like, oh my god, I... <sighs> my throat, honest to god, every time I yawn, it's the most painful thing in the world. Basically, side story. I, for like the past two weeks, have had like a really, really weird taste in my mouth. Not all the time, but more so when I started eating. I think more so when my saliva glands started like knowing that my mouth were gonna be eating food. I had like a really weird taste. That I can't really describe, but like, I was trying to describe it to Lewis. I was like, I don't know what it is because I can't describe the taste. It was like sort of like a soapy taste, but then not soapy. And then just like a weird, I was gonna say sour taste, but it was like a sharp tasting. I, I, I literally cannot describe the taste to save my life, like I cannot. However, I've had it for around two weeks and I also have had like a really, really sore throat, but not like sore throat to the point where like I thought I had tonsillitis or with like a cold sore throat, like a sore throat in a way that I've never had before. It felt like my throat was just very tender, but it wasn't like tender as in it didn't look red. It just felt painful. It literally just felt painful. And I've been complaining of it for probably like two weeks now. Didn't know what the hell going off. I thought I had like my wisdom teeth coming through. I thought is my wisdom teeth like halfway through the gum and like halfway just in my mouth so like the, there's a flap of skin that's like collecting food and stuff so I was constantly brushing my teeth. I were gonna message the doctors but then last night I was laid on my bed catching up on Emma Chamberlain's videos and she said in one of her videos for the past few weeks she's had like a really weird taste in her mouth and I was like what the fuck like, I literally had been searching it. I searched on TikTok as well. Couldn't find anyone that were experiencing the same thing as me. I thought oh my God, is it like a weird strain of COVID or is like something just wrong with my body? And then Emma Chamberlain said that she, she basically described everything that I'd been experiencing and I was like, what the fuck? So I carried on watching. Turns out she did what I was going to do. Went to the doctors or went to the dentist, I can't remember which one. And they told her she had tonsil stones. Um, so then I was like, oh my God, I've never even heard of tonsil stones before. Went to the mirror with a cotton bud. My throat looked fine. Like when I opened my mouth and looked in the back of my throat, couldn't see anything. But I went to the mirror with a cotton bud and like pushed against my tonsil. And oh my God, I videoed it. I was actually in shock. Like four big tonsil stones came out of my right tonsil. And I was thinking, what the fuck? This is crazy. Like I literally have been told that I have tonsil stones by Emma Chamberlain. Anyway, I got them out last night. It was really one of them processes where it's like quite fun and quite satisfying. And then afterwards, I felt so relieved. Like my throat literally felt like it just given birth. And I felt at ease. Like I literally had no pain whatsoever. I was messaging Lewis that like, I can't believe this. Order KFC last night. Cheeky little KFC. And I could taste it fine. Like literally within like an hour of removing the tonsil stones, I no longer had the bad taste in my mouth. I no longer had any pain in my throat. But then I've woken up this morning and my throat hurts more than it did when I had tonsil stones. <laughs> I don't even know why I've told you this. Anyway, this morning is the first morning I've woke up in my apartment and felt like I needed the heating on. Am I going to put the heating on? No, because I'm paying for the bills now on my own. I'm not doing it. I'm just putting a hoodie on. That head. Oh, fresh are me. Will you have a look outside the window? Yeah. Is there any police fans going? Um, right, no. there's some riot bars outside the Hilton. That's good, because I'm walking into town in like 10 minutes. Oh, well, don't. Just don't. Fucking loads of them. What is it? Say hello to my vlog channel, girls. Hi. 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 <laughs> my vlog channel. <laughs> Why is everyone's face is not interested at all? <laughs> because buying your vlog channel is your main channel. Yeah, your no, vlog channel is no. Main channel. My vlog really channel. Vlog channel. It's got better CPS. That's no, so bold that's not of you true. to assume that people want two vlogs from you on two different channels. I'm not posting two vlogs on two different channels. Fuck you all. Fuck <laughs> off. Fuck <laughs> off. So I'm going to capture our life. Yeah, okay. It's your main channel. Me and my What's this for then? <laughs> this is for my vlog channel. My vlog channel is back. What <laughs> <laughs> about your main channel? Don't go down on there. A bit of silence for a while. <laughs> maybe. Why don't you just retitle TBH Biden and his boyfriend does something and that can be your channel. <laughs> 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 anyway, I need to get dressed. I'm basically meeting Lewis in town this morning. I love how they were taking the piss off me doing things with Lewis. And then here I am being like, yep, yeah, I've literally just woke up and now I'm going to meet Lewis. He's getting his nose pierced in town and I was like, oh my god, if you're in town, 
he doesn't live near town so like if you're in town I'll walk in we'll get some like brunch or something grab a coffee say hi hey how are you I need to shoot an ad in town anyway and then it's a perfect excuse to see each other and a perfect excuse to go out for breakfast all right girls I'm ready and dressed I've got to shoot an ad, like I said. It's a really cool ad, actually, for this sneaker brand on Instagram. Um, they sent me some very cool shoes. I've been trying to get a hold of these for a while. Right, this is the outfit that I'm wearing. I've just matched the varsity jacket to the shoes. I think it'll look quite cool in a photo. I don't know if I'm going to keep this jumper on underneath, but it's fucking freezing outside, so I thought I'd wrap up warm. And it's also raining. My Uber's outside. I'm going to head down now, go into town to meet Lewis. I've got something in my eye. This is all a rush, but let's go. <laughs> Go on, show your nose off. Ta da! Lewis said to me he's got a big piercing in his nose, and that's what he meant by a big piercing. I actually know. I thought it's not even, it's literally not big at all. It's not fucking big. Um, my bed is not made, so just ignore that, but this is what they look like. I said to Freya, I probably wouldn't, I would wear them with these trousers, but I feel like I would wear boots more with these trousers, just because, like, you can see my sock. I'd much rather wear the Dot Martin boots with these, but I normally have trousers that, like, sit a bit lower. Yeah, I just thought it was a fun little spice up your life moment, do you know what I mean? Right, everyone, Freya has just left. I am now going to sit and edit for the foreseeable future. I'm actually going to do a food shop tonight, but I just looked outside, and the traffic right now is absolutely ridiculous. Like, like, I feel like it's the time. Well, it is the time. I feel like everyone in Manchester's literally just finished work. So the traffic looks absolutely horrendous. So I'm going to wait for the traffic to die down. And then I'm actually going to go and do a food shop. I literally have nothing in. For the past few days, I've been Uber eating my food because I just do not have anything in. But like I said, I don't know if I mentioned in this vlog, I've had no petrol. So I've not been able to do a food shop. So now I have petrol. I'm going to go drive to do like a big Asda shop. I think Anna's going to come with me. Just get a few bits, have a little mousse round. And then I don't know what I'm doing for the evening. I really want lasagna. So I'm going to get Anna to show me what like lasagna bits she buys Anna makes a really nice lasagna and I want to make it myself but I don't know which like sauces and stuff she uses like which brands and stuff so I'm gonna get Anna to come with me do a little food shop and then I think potentially Freya's gonna come over here again uh, she's just got home to have some food but like I said I'm literally gonna be sat editing for the foreseeable future until Anna comes round and then when she's here we're gonna go also I'm now noticing in the background the glass of the little glass box it's got a lot of smears on it look who's decided to show herself again Miss Freya Mavis after saying she wasn't gonna be coming. I actually don't know how you're planning on carrying all these. Pause with it, go on, I'll get a thumbnail for my vlog. Oh my God, that is so nice. Oh, that is so nice. Are they gonna last though, till Halloween? No, I don't think so. Where are you about to see you putting them then, babe, outside your door? <laughs> I'm back from Asda. We basically did a little food shop. I actually have got my cereals out. Also, the microwave is just there right now. I'm just cooking a bit of lasagna. It's currently 12 o'clock midnight and I am fucking starving. We went to Asda. Oh god. Inside the Asda there's actually McDonald's. So before we went round we actually had McDonald's and then we went back to Anna's house. I've just got back home now. And I'm now starving again. So I'm literally gonna make this lasagna. I want to put it in the oven. I feel like these microwave meals are so much better when you put them in the oven. But it takes 30 minutes in the oven and 5 minutes in the microwave and I'm like, I want to get in bed. So I'm thinking, make a cup of tea, get myself in bed with the lasagna, eat the lasagna whilst watching a film. And then, yeah. I also really now, I would, I've been craving frosties in the cereal frosties for the longest time. In fact, what were everyone's favorite cereal growing up? I feel like me and my brother literally had Cocoa Pops, frosties and golden nuggets, and sometimes I'm cookie crisp. I were really craving some frosties yesterday. So I picked myself some up. I don't know where I'm gonna put them because there's literally 
no room in any of my cupboards, so it's currently just staying there. Look at me, type in there. I'm just waiting for the microwave to finish, and then I'm gonna sit in bed and eat lasagna. That's the plan. Fucking shattered as well. Like, I literally cannot wait to get into bed. It's just been one of them days. I had a really successful and productive day, actually, um, but I am now ready for bed. Like, I'm ready to just get into bed.